Welcome everyone to my humble life. It's a journey. I came from Hollywood to Texas to Tennessee on raw land by myself with a bunch of animals. But let's get into the talk about the benefits of a keto diet, but really like how do you know if you're in ketosis? I think it's really important to know the two. And I got the idea of this video because the woman that I had a consultation today, she really didn't understand the whole keto thing, right? Because people have been so obsessed with carnivore. Let's start with the benefits, right? To really get people to understand how important it is. Now, I coach three types of dietary low carb measures. I coach low carb, high fat, which still involve starch. Starch turns into sugar in the blood. So that's sweet potato, parsnip, pumpkin, red potato. Uh, you can have things like yellow swa swash, squash, carrots, some fruit that's not high in fructose because fruit's been genetically manipulated on the poorest of levels to have too high levels of fructose. But with that said, I only prescribe low carb, high fat diets when your gallbladder is all jacked up and you just can't eat the fat to keto adapt or if you have severe hypoglycemia and you're not getting into ketosis. So that's the low carb, high fat camp, but keto carnivore carnivore is amazing to fight a very bad inflammatory histamine response for the short term. You don't want to do it long term because you don't want to lose diamine oxidase, which you need to fight the histamine, ironically. Or you don't want to have uric acid levels built up too high or B12 or iron. Yeah, I know. It's a thing. Don't believe me? Go and check out Frank DeFano's channel where he developed hemochromatosis, which is deadly. Eating carnivore. Too much iron. I know. But keto. I love it. It played a big role in my mom still being around today from having a glioblastoma. But other than the glios and people trying to use it for weight loss, what are some of the more benefits of it? Mental acuity on fire. Because the brain is made up mostly of fat, especially cholesterol. Your reproductive hormones are made 100% out of cholesterol. That's why some of these gymnasts or vegans lose their period. They don't eat enough fat. You need fat or substrates to not go into the gluconeogenesis to where your DHA is affected and then the reproductive hormonal tree because you're running on ketones. Sex hormones are made out of cholesterol. If you're having low testosterone, if you're estrogen dominant with women and you want to run to an HRT because people are like, oh, it's so healthy for you. And they lie. They lie a lot then you better start eating fat. What's scary is that people say that fat makes you fat or fat gives you a heart attack. Of them are a bunch of lies. I'm sorry. Foolery and a falluckery. Because it's quite the opposite. Fat, it stops your body from crashing when you're in ketosis. So your body's, you got the restaurant of your belly right there. To burn fat or any other fatty bits your body burns ketones like logs on a fireplace other than paper that's carbs real fast real high burnout feel tired crash with being fully adapted you don't experience the hypoglycemia or the hyper insulin resistance glycemia this way, we, there's no extreme peaks or valleys. The body can heal with the rheumatoid arthritis and the lupus and the cancer and the thyroid and the reproductive hormonal issue and the adrenal issues and the chronic fatigue. Even if you've got Lyme's disease, to get your immune system more balanced by running off of ketones is the shiznit. The benefits are, they, they don't end. There's no ending. They just go on and on and on. You have, you develop, get 
fat into the dermis layers. So your skin is nice and fabulous. It helps with digestion, not the gallbladder. If you have a, if it's junked up, if you have a good gallbladder, then it helps the production of bile. But it helps you eliminate your stool because you're lubricating the pipes. Yes. There are so many things like your eyes are fatty, your tongue, your brain, your lungs, your reproductive hormones. I mean, we all know that your skin needs fat so you don't age like a rotting apple. There's a lot of ben benefits. The mental acuity, the strength at the gym. It's not like you're going to run real fast like somebody eating a bunch of candy. Because you're like, oh, like that. That's what candy does to you. But ketones will keep you even. People are like, I don't want to lose my strength at the gym. I was like, I didn't lose one second of strength at the gym when I stopped eating carbs and went ketogenic. We have to be careful for all of the lies and the foolery. There are some doctors that are still saying, don't eat, don't be in ketosis. It's dangerous. Ketoacidosis. I'm like, hold up. People who are not type 1s are fine. That's most people. And type 1 diabetics can develop ketoacidosis just not even being on a ketogenic diet, just not eating all day can make high ketones acidic. It's very hard for the body to have the ketones rise and rise and rise and rise. So the benefits outweigh the risks bar none times a billion. If you're not in ketosis and you're running on carbs, so can you, and then of course the weight loss, the fat loss, you're able to Calm the thyroid down, the brain down, the reproductive hormones down. And now your body doesn't need to burn through proteins in the body like your skin and collagen and bone marrow. It's got ketones to burn. And it's amazing. You don't crash. The brain is lit. Your hormones, people who've got depression, do so well on a high-fat diet. But if you can't do it and you're gallbladder is just not allowing you or you're dysglycemic because you can't get rid of the toxins that make your blood sugar bounce the stress the lack of a circadian rhythm balance things can your blood sugar can bounce it can it can bounce with not even eating any carbs so if you can't get your life stress in order then you're not going to adapt and what's the freaking point that's the difference the benefits are just is bar none the benefits carbs you crash you just do if you don't stay on a schedule brain foggy um you got the candida overgrowth because you have leaky gut and thrush is growing and yeast is growing this doesn't happen on a ketogenic diet for a while they were trying to say the ketones uh fed fungus people make up the dumbest things that is not true in fact it's the quite the opposite it'll help starve out uh, the candida that is growing in most people. Ketones are amazing for the liver. Now, you have to have a functioning liver to make the ketones. Sometimes people don't get into ketosis because their gallbladder is not working, but also because their liver enzymes are too high. Even if they ate the perfect macros, you got to make sure that your liver enzymes, your liver is filtrating properly and not all junked up. Doing a carnivore diet is great as an elimination diet. It's way better than GAPS. It's great. Long-term sustainability, it's not great because you're not getting enough diamine oxidase. You are not making enough diamine oxidase via fiber coming from prebiotic fiber. And in fact, prebiotic fiber helps stabilize your existing gut microbiome. And we don't have anything to stabilize it. It goes like this. Like when you drink coffee, don't drink coffee, don't do that. Or alcohol, bad, bad, hypoglycemic. Yeah, being in ketosis is to me way more beneficial than carnivore because even on a ketogenic diet, you don't have to eat a lot of vegetables. You could ride the line of carnivore but not being doing a carnivore diet. But if you were to do a carnivore diet, make sure it is a ketogenic carnivore diet because the benefits of ketosis are amazing but on a carnivore diet done too long you might have your gut microbiome get a little wonky and carbs would be amazing and I'm so glad that they're there for those who
whose gallbladders need to be worked on, or if you don't have a gallbladder, you still have to work on that part of the body because your liver still makes the bile salts. Yeah. But being in ketosis is my favorite. I love it. And I'm going to talk more about how to get into ketosis, what is ketosis, and the benefits of it. Sort of, of what I touched on today. The benefits are amazing. I've lived them for a very long time. And when you pop out of ketosis because of stress, you feel like dog crap. It's a black and white sensation. Comment below if you understand or still are confused about the benefits and what is ketosis. Share this content. My Instagram is Stephanie Ketogenic. My Facebook fan page is Stephanie the Business Person. I am 56. Turning 57. And in three years, I'll be 60. What? Weird. And that is the reason why self-preservation and keeping yourself lean and trim and fabulous post-menopause with no HRTs, full natty, is so important. Comment below. And I'm out. Peace. If you need a consultation, go to stephanieperson.com. I have all new dates. And of course, the 30-day challenge is something I always have to keep in people's minds. I'm so close to getting my mother settled and my house settled and my life.